Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, worst racket, another worst racket video. Stay tuned. Okay, so William Kahn with a different racket says, I also own a Wilson that I can find no information about that I bought in 1991, which I needed an emergency racket for a friend who wanted to hit some balls with me. It says dimension 295 on the frame. I played it on two or three occasions in the 90s and it stayed in my closet since. I just put a head grip on it at you, as your recommendation and plan to take it to a wall when it gets cooler here next month to see if I can stand hitting with it after 30 years. Let me know if you'd like to give them a swing if you remember it as another Wilson mistake. So I got him here. William hooked me up and sent them over to me to test. Uh, we're gonna take it out to Coach Rob and uh, we'll give him a test and see if they're really that bad. So part two of uh, William Kahn's, could this be the worst rackets ever made? Maybe by Wilson? Well, I got Mr. Wilson here with me. Um, Coach Rob. What's our, up, Harry? Our buddy William Kahn sent us an, you know, on two rackets. Wow. And I'm going to show you the second racket. Ugh. I'm going to hand you that. Wow. Throw this oh. down. This is the high beam series, Harry. High beam? High beam series. Like from a car? I don't know. It just says high beams. Well, it's red enough. It is. What's this thing called? Graphite composite. D dimension 295. Two huh. So did it looks like it was off, a... Did you take off the bumper guard? What? Is this thing pre-bumper guard? I did not even notice that. How, I didn't know rackets How old worked. is this thing? 1991. Okay. According to William. So this racket came to us from William. Um, he said that his buddy wanted to play tennis with him back in 1991. He didn't have a spare racket, so they went out and bought this one. Yeah, it's got the PWS. <laughs> so this thing is lightweight, powerful, added control, aerodynamic. It has the PWS system, uh, 50 to 60 pounds. Graphite composite. Do you know anything about this racket? Have you seen it before? Nope. It's Never a, seen it. It's a wide body kind of though. It looks like it's about a 23 um, constant beam. Hmm. I, I try to research this racket a little bit. There is nothing to be found. Literally nothing. Nobody wrote or, or has anything about it online. Like there's nothing. There is zero. Um, the only thing I can think of is back in the day, because it says graphite composite, my guess is that it, my brain immediately goes to $49.99, $59.99. Uh, Even back then? I mean, if it says graphite, I'm guessing that it's, you know, it's got to be worth something, you know? If it said aluminum right. composite, yeah, then... Yeah, and high beam. Yeah, the high beam's I mean, worth something, too. Yeah. Um, what it cost them to write that on there. Right. Let's... Uh, Let's go hit with it. Let's try it. All right, Coach Rob, is this a candidate for worst racket ever you, made? You know, it was in the in the realm, especially with the dampener on. And then when I took off the 1992 uh, dampener, 
<clears throat> it felt a little bit better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, only probably because I don't play with a dampener, but it was not good. Your first three shots that I fed you. Terrible. <laughs> you were all over the head. I might have hit the dampener. I, I was... I was like, what the, what in the world? And I've been hitting the ball today, so it wasn't like my first couple swings. It right. was like, now, you've been this on thing's this bad. Court. You've been on the court for about seven hours yeah. already. This was bad. But then once I took the dampener off, I somehow then uh, found the red W. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right there. So what did you feel? What did you hear? How did it um, sound? Uh, on those first three shots, it sounded bad. And my arm was like twang, and I was like, this is not good. But I did like the four and a half grip size, which is like probably a four and five eighths now, since people can't measure. But that was another video. Um, so, I, you know, it wasn't great. It didn't feel that great, um, especially with the dampener on. But once I took it off, uh, I hit a few good shots with it, hit some nice volleys with it. It still wasn't good. Okay. Okay. So definitely a candidate. Uh, for worst racket. Uh, when I weighed this up, it was about 12 and a half, 12 point, yeah, about 12 and a half ounces. So this is a very heavy racket right. for what it is. Um, and back then, rackets were heavier. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, 95 square inch head, 16, 19 string pattern, as you can see by the squares. The, when I hit the strings, it felt like I was hitting a fence. And it, that's what it sounded like. It, it was like, like, like we put the fence in as a string and it went shing, right. shing. I mean, it could be the strings, but uh, definitely. These strings don't seem as, you know, they're not squeaking like the, oh. you know, like some other old, you know, ones that are really old. This, the stencil's still The clean. stencil's pretty fresh, except for where we were hitting it. Yeah, I wonder if William's buddy only hit with it once and then he just kind of chucked it into the and garage. he may have stopped playing tennis after a couple <laughs> hits. If he hit the first three like I did, he might have said, this sport's not for me. So the, the positives about this racket is I like the weight, but I like heavy. The negatives of it is there was no feel and the sound was horrible. Um, I definitely could say this would be... One of the worst rackets ever. It was, it's probably, if you were making, if you had a pile, yeah, it would probably be in the closer to the worst than mm -hmm. the not worst. Definitely, pile. definitely. I would probably pick this up versus picking up a wood or a T2000. <laughs> I'd rather hit with those. The really? The wood and the T2000 myself. Okay, okay. All right. Those so, at least you have history. Yeah, that's you true. You know, this, like. That's true. Okay. When so. <laughs> when this thing was coming out, we were using different model rackets. When For the sure. in the T2000, that's what we were using. For sure. Because there wasn't anything else. If you're going timing, yes. Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to show you one quick thing. There's boxes here on those. All right, I'm going to show Coach Rob too. There's boxes here on these, and it says lightweight, powerful, added control, aerodynamic. Yes. None of them are checked. Exactly. <laughs> right? <laughs> if... <laughs> It means you're supposed to check them off yourself, I guess. And, uh, or, yeah, I don't know. The boxes ain't checked off. Maybe not. Maybe it came off. Okay. So, yes, definitely on the list. Definitely on the list. Could be worst racket ever. Dimension 295. I'm sure my buddy uh, Kevin Chu would love this racket because he loves everything everybody else hates. Okay. <laughs> thank Very you. Cool. Thank you, Coach Rob. Sure. Thank you, Coach Rob, for, uh, um, Hanging out with me and trying out Wilson Dimension 2. A racket without a head guard. Yes. I've never seen one of those from Wilson. Um, hmm. I'll let you hold that for a second. So after 23 years. Should we do that with the dampener? Or do you think the dampener affects Let's take the, the dampener out. Let's take the We're going to use the ERT 300 and check the tension after so many years. Swiss made, if you wanna get your own, link is below. You can check your tension before you play. 20. Wow. 20. That's low. 20. I don't think I've ever gone down to 20 before in anything. I hope the scale goes that low. Let's see if it does. Nope, it doesn't. So 26 is 37 pounds on a mid plus. So this thing is 
probably like 25 pounds. <laughs> so 25 pounds of tension, guys, uh, on the Dimension 2 or less. Huh. Well, get your own gauge to see what tension you guys are playing with. And if you see this at the Goodwill store, leave, leave it, it there. <laughs> We did not rehearse that. <laughs> William Kahn, thank you for uh, sending these rackets along. We'll get them back to you. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. You know, most people, they quit tennis because, you know, it's hard to find somebody to play with, right? I'm just, I just feel so lucky to have my buddy, my buddy Coach Rob, that we have so much in common. You know, we're, we're both kind of follically impaired. You know, ain't that right, Coach Rob? Us follically challenged friends have to hit together. Yes, so I have Coach Rob. If you guys need a friend and you're follically impaired or are a bearded one and looking for your bearded mate, right? Check out Player Court. They have people that look like you, play like you, maybe act like you, check out their site. It's playyourcourt.com. Your tennis buddy can teach you how to twirl. Hopefully You'll get it someday. Hopefully better than that. We'll have to keep practicing here. <laughs>